movies but YouTube said that it was a copyright violation I'm like do you know who you're talking to this is the man that made that movie and they like um who and I'm like I'm Michael fucking Myers and they're like who and I'm like I'm talking to a 24 year old I don't know Holy crikey, crikey, crikey. These youngsters, they don't even know who I am. They will this October, though. My new movie, Halloween Ends, comes out. Let's see if I find me. Find me. Find me. Catch Lori. A.K.A. Jamie Lee Curtis. I've been chasing her for, oh, jeez, uh, 45 years or so now. And remember, I started when I was like eight. I was just a big eight-year-old. So, it's been a long, long time. But, let's talk about the stock market for just a little bit. Today, everything was leprechaun green, I guess you could say. Everything was green. Boy, if you had calls on Twitter and Chewy and half the other things, you made bank. Me, I did not make bank. AMC, my favorite stock because they show my movies was pathetic today. After seven and a half hours of seven hours of trading or whatever it is. Um six and a half whatever. I don't know. Um it gains a penny. A penny in a completely green bull market. While GME, on the other hand, gained three and a half percent. Went up almost $5.70 per share and looked strong and looked to go with the flow of the market. I am a momentum trader. And there is virtually zero momentum for AMC right now. Um, the volume was about $50 million, which is not good very average low end but what's concerning is that amc could be so flaccid in such a green bull market so that has me a little bit concerned but we won't do anything different we'll still play both sides of amc like I did today, I purchased Straddle, just like I said I would. Expiration, April 14th. $22 call, $22 put. And they're about a little bit down, both of them, which makes no sense to me since the damn thing finished even. But who am I to judge? What I'm looking for is a big move up or down tomorrow. If not, then Wednesday. In fact, I don't give a shit. Any day. I'm looking for a big move up or down. Uh, today, AMC, <clears throat> like I said, finished minus one whole freaking cent. But it did drop earlier in the day to 21.90 or so. And it hit that twice. Because... I do watch the line all day long because I'm in between movies right now. So I got the time. So I'm watching the line and I know how the techno traders 
watch the one minute candles and the five minute and the 15 minute and the what it, I mean, it's, you can go every minute till a gazillion hours or whatever. But I watch it with my eyes and I can clearly see when they start to chop it down or they're just going to basically trade it back and forth like tennis players doing lobs to each other. Boing, boing. And if y'all are old enough, you might remember Pong with a stupid straight line kicks a blip to this other straight line. It's pretty retarded. But that was high tech back when my, uh, Michael was woo, back in the 80s. I was in my prime. But um, <clears throat> that's what AMC looked like. Total ping pong back and forth. Nothing exciting, but in such a strong market, that is concerning to me. So I'll keep an eye on that. GME looks a thousand times stronger. And when you look at them, at the companies, there's no comparison. The GME's a million times stronger. They have no debt. They have a ton of cash. They have shares in the 170s. Versus AMC, who's got $12 billion in debt, and and they're in the 20s. I don't know. I have no predictions on AMC whether it'll go up or down tomorrow. Absolutely zero. And if anyone, Trey, TMI, Short the Vix, Kept Meet Kevin, Tyler Wilson, I mean all of them, there's a million of them. Million techno traders out there, out there to impress you with their green screens and their, their, um, charts. Well, I don't believe in that. I watch it all day. I see it with my eyes. I'm a momentum trader, and there's no momentum one way or the other with AMC. It's a limp dick floating out in the ocean right now. I don't know what it's doing. Whereas GME. Looks like it's more of like consolidating right where it was at all day long. And it could push strong up at any point. They are completely unpredictable. That's what I find intriguing about AMC and GME. Because they are so unpredictable. That they could swing 5% either way. You know, go down 5%, and then all of a sudden run up to plus 5%, you know, by the end of the day. That's how unpredictable they are. That is why I'm playing straddles. That's why, because I have no clue which way it's going. I'm looking to cash out on both ends, whether it's a little bit or a lot. That's my strategy. Other than that, if you have Twitter calls or... Facebook or Amazon, if you're batting in the high, the major leagues playing those, congratulations. You killed it. Unfortunately, I do not have that kind of gunpowder. Lord knows I wish I did. Anything you hear, I don't think anything's going to stop this stock market. Um, interest rate hikes, Russia, whatever. All it does is go up and up and up over time. So, stay in, stay in your long positions. If you wish to do options, I would suggest straddles in the money. And then give yourself two or three weeks so you can exit both sides. Most hopefully, with a win on both sides. So, until we meet next time. Take care. This is Michael Myers of Sarasota saying, beware.